Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on bar graph. It says that Hira Lal is a diamond merchant and he traveled for business purpose using different means of transport. The bar graph uh, below shows the distance covered using the different modes. Okay. So uh, this is a graph given and it says that the distance traveled by bus, cab and truck is given in percentage of total distance. So uh, <clears throat> easy to figure out that we are given three values in percentage terms and other values in number terms. So simple like you just add these terms. Okay, so <clears throat> what do we get? If we add this 25.6, 37.6. Okay, by these three, the so remaining distance will be 62.4%. Okay, so let us add these values to find that what is 62.4% of total? So 16, uh, 36, 27, uh, 83, 50, 83 plus 221, 5304, right? So 5304 is the 62.4% of total. That is 5304, right? Now, in such a question, if you have to find the total distance, uh, if you divide by 624, it is going to take time of course you do not know the table of 624 maybe you do some uh, common factor and do that that is fine but how to think in such a scenario that how to solve things right let us assume that uh, maybe we might be wrong but let us assume that uh, the person has taken all integer values right remaining are integers possibly this is this is also integer right although it is not given so i'm using that assumption so if you know that for every 100, right, any percentage will be an integer. If x is an integer, you will get x percent is some integer. Now here the percentage is given 16.4. Okay, so 100 ka 16.4 cannot be an integer, right? But if you take 500 into 16.4 or any number ending in 500 into 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, these will give you an integer values. Right? That's the assumption that I'm making. I might be correct, I might not be. Right? So that's how you should be thinking in such scenarios. Okay, so 500 into these points will be an integer. Now 16.4% is an integer, uh, 9.2 is an integer. So that means it is a multiple of 500. So our guesswork is that this percentage is a multiple of 500 okay so if i take it as a multiple of 500 62 into 9 even if you do not have to do 62.4 6 into 9 is 54 right so it is less than 90 okay and if you consider <coughs> 8 times so you know that 62.5 uh, into 8 is 5000 so greater than 80 a multiple of 500 means greater than 8000 because it's a percentage thing right so my guess is like i guessed that it is total distance is 8500 how did i guess i assumed that these these values are integers that was just an assumption it could have been wrong also so i mean that was a quick guess it won't take me one minute to guess this thing right now let us verify this that was a guess now let us verify this what I'll do is 62.4 into 85 in order to get this number. Okay. Uh, so uh, what I can do is I can just double double this, right? That will become 170 and take half of this. That is 31.2, right? So 312, 312 into 17. If I do 17 to the 34, 3 carries, right? 20, 2 carries, 53. Wow. I got the same number, isn't it? So that was the total distance is 8,500. So that's what we have got. Now you can calculate the values. Uh, so this will be 16.4 uh, into 850. So again, we will multiply this way. We will do 82 into 17. Okay, like I did this. Right, so 16.4 is 164 into uh, 160, 16.4 into 85. That I can do is 82 into 170, uh, 8.2 8 into 8, 170, and 82 into 17. 
टोटल Okay, so that's how one should guess. Now, if these are given, that was an assumption. It could have gone wrong also. That is why I verified it, and it did not take me much time to guess that. So instead of doing the calculations, I guessed it. Okay, the average speed of journey by train is fifty-two kilometer per hour. The time spent by journey by bus is ten hours more than the time spent in the journey by train. What is the average speed of journey by bus? Okay, so journey by train is fifty-two. So divide. One six one two by fifty two. Okay, so five into three. Okay, and that would give you thirty one. Okay, so do this way. Like, uh, again, we are assuming that it is an integer number. Okay, so five into uh, three one fifty six five fifty two. So thirty one. So uh, time spent by journey by bus is ten hours more. So bus will be forty one hours. And uh, what is the distance covered by bus? Bus is thirteen ninety four. Right, the last digit is four, so four divided by one is four, so the answer will be thirty four. Okay, so that should be the way to calculate. Right, I'm not calculating, uh, doing the calculation. I see the options. If I multiply forty one by four thirty one, I will get something ending in one. Forty one by forty one will end in one. Forty one by thirty eight will end in eight. Forty one into thirty four can only give a last digit four. So application of those things while calculating, since it is not theta, the time spent in the journey by motor bike is twice the time spent by journey by boat. Okay, so motor bike and boat. Uh, if the sum of the speeds of motor bike and boat is seventy three kilometer per hour, what is the time spent in the journey by motor bike? Okay, so motor bike the journey is uh, twice and. Uh, Uh, boat is let us say the time spent by motorbike is 2x and spent by boat is x okay so distance is speed into time right so speed uh, we are given the sum of speeds okay so speed is distance upon time okay so for uh, this let us use the space we are given the sum of speeds so speed is distance upon time so for motor bike it will be 780 no, motor bike is 1456 upon 2x that is the speed of motor bike okay plus the time spent by boat is x and boat the distance covered is 221 221 so by x Is equal to seventy three. Okay, so if you get this, this will be seven hundred and twenty eight. So that will be nine four nine by x is seventy three. Okay, so now we have to find the time spent in the journey by motor bike. So we have to find two x. Okay, so again by using that logic, we get that x is equal to thirteen, right? Because if I see nine and three. And double, we have to do that, right? So thirteen give you twenty six hours. right so it is about the the play with the numbers okay more important is how to play with numbers to find out the answers quite quickly next question is the average speed of the journey by cab is 68 km per hour if the journey by airplane took 9 hours less than the journey by cab what is the average speed of the journey by airplane so like the first question uh, so journey by cab is 68 so that is 782 Okay, seven eighty-two by sixty-eight. That gives you. It is not giving you an integer answer. Sixty-eight into ten is six eighty hundred and two. So eleven point five. Okay, journey by airplane took nine hours less. So journey by airplane took two and a half hours. Journey by plane is two thousand fifteen. Two thousand fifteen by two point five. 
so 2.5 will give you 800 uh, i mean 2000 will give you 800 and 15 gives you 6 so 806 will be the answer okay if the average speeds of the bus and the truck were the same the journey using them would have taken a total of 71 hours so bus and truck if the speed was same the total would have been 71 hours okay but the average speed of truck is six more than this average speed okay speed of truck is six more than this what is the time spent in the journey by truck so let us do this so if they had the same speed uh, their journey would have been 17 hours, 71 hours so what is the distance covered by bus plus truck so that is 1394 plus 1020 that gives us 2414 kilometer covered by bus and truck okay so if their uh, speed was same the time would have been 71 so time is known distance is known so we can find that speed so that speed will be 71 3 that is 213 284 so 4 34 is that speed okay so it is saying the average speed of truck is 6 kill, six more so that means the speed of truck is 40 so time taken uh, spent in the journey by truck truck is covering uh, 1020 kilometer divided by 40 so 102 divided by 4 that is 25.5 hours so very heavy calculation heavy set but we saw some uh, ways to do calculations easily that was more important that was the main learning in this set okay so this is the solution and the answers to the questions